EA Sports. It is the start of the Stanley Cup playoffs. NHL action. Let's drop the puck. Just moments away from puck drop. Both teams seem ready to go. Sederland. 
Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Joseph. Moves it quickly over to Holloway. And he slides it quickly to Kapanen. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Gaining steam here on the attack. Shot, and he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Here in the late goings of the period, we're still scoreless. St. Louis goes to work in the offensive zone. Puck picked up by Neighbors. Vanacek's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Puck possession so critical in today's game and the official ready to drop the puck right here. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Puts it in deep. The Blues gain control of the puck. Slides the puck to Neighbors. They've got numbers here. Shot! Scores! And they're saving the Blues tonight in St. Louis! tenacity on your way down, falling to the ice and still get the shot off, that's leadership at its best. And now it's grabbed by Joseph. The crowd pushing for them to shoot before the clock expires. And that's offside stopping the play. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. for period number one, second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. Drops. 
Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? The Sharks didn't get off to a great start at all. I mean, they've been chasing the game, and the real reason why they're behind in this one, they haven't had any possession time. The Blues played along the wing. Let's one go, and that's broken up. Thomas will play into the corner. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. They score! inside his own end. And he slides it quickly to Letty. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Moves it to Costin. Moves the puck. Slides it on over to Neighbors. And he feeds it down to Torpchenko. Moves the puck back inside his own end. Picked up along the boards by Sundquist. St. Louis plays it up ahead. And he keeps possession. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Saucer pass. The Sharks move the puck in the defensive zone. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Sends it down low. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. Biddington's gonna hang on for a whistle and staying focused is key when you haven't seen a lot of work here, Cheryl. Well, it's part of their mental preparation as a goaltender. Even when you're not busy, you have to stay dialed in, follow the action. He's doing exactly that, and he makes a nice cover. Taken by Pareko. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Quick feed to Kairou. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. The Blues continue to lead it here in the second period. They have been very active in the offensive zone tonight. St. Louis wins the draw. There's the collision. The Sharks will play the puck from behind the net. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Sends a pass in front, and that turns off a twig in front of the net. Denies him in close. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. And that one's denied. Great reach with the stick by Defoli. Now the home team is really under pressure, and the fans know it. Huge 
face-off coming up here. Well, you know that you want to gain possession and you want to keep the pressure on because the goaltender is the only one who can change, and he is the most fatigued guy on the ice. So you want to find ways to get some net front presence, get shot through the net, because, man, he needs a rest. Moves it quickly over to Holloway. Here's a shot. Denies him. Taken along the wall by Foxa. Jocelyn for the puck, and he loses control. Shuts him down. And he takes the pass. Eklund's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Picked off by Joseph. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. With possession along the wall. Here's a chance. Sends it in front. Dishes it off again here. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. The Sharks looking against the half wall. And that's blocked from someone in front. Saad's last play was a tough one, James. He loses his balance, which makes it difficult for him to corral the puck and get it off with precision, but he makes the play. Late goings of this period. St. Louis is enjoying a 2-0 lead. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Zetterlund's got it across the line. Slides the puck down low. Quick snap! Comes up with a monster save in front. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Big time hit along the boards and there's no give there. Well, there isn't and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Official signals to the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. San Jose's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Puck grabbed by Torpchenko. And somehow he hangs on. Oh, a huge hit against the wall, and you know home setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically. Pay the price. Use your body and get the puck. Walden's got the puck in his own zone. The Sharks move it ahead. And nearing the final minute of the second. Quick pass over to Benny. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Look at this, two on one. Slides it diagonally to Sundquist. Retreats with the puck inside the defensive zone. Passes it to Kunin. And he dodges the puck check there. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast. So don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more. Sends a 
pass over. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. San Jose's goal has suddenly tightened the gap here in period number three. Well, they're within one, James, and it's not enough right now, so they're going to have to continue to counter, transition quickly, but most importantly, retrieve the puck. That is critical to be able to possess it. Shot! Makes the save using the hashtag block. San Jose's got the puck against the half wall. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to even, James, and I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We are all tied up in this one. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Strong defensive effort. Vlasic's picking up steam. Here we go, pucks in deep. Directs it on over to Foot. Here's a short pass to Shen. The Blues carry it along the wall. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. Kernan's got it into offensive territory. Fires it on net. Scooped up along the wall by Benning. Here's a chance. Stops him with the glove. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Sharks win the draw. Big time stop. St. Louis has it near the wall. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Takes it away in his own end. And now he moves it to Sunfist. And that pass attempt is deflected. He's got a stop. Great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. Whistle blows, stopping the play. The Blues will serve two minutes in the box. for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. And now he moves it quickly to Pareko. And they send it down the ice. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Toffoli. Good save! We see goaltenders working on reaction time all the time. Why? For shots like this, you just have to react. It's instincts that make the save. Holloway's ready for the try as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Sharks take possession off the faceoff. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Nice quick check. Picked up along the wall by Wilman. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. The Sharks look to start the transition game. Good defensive stop with the poke check. San Jose's got possession of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Coonan. Great reach with the hook check. Takes it in front. Scores! And that's three. It's a hat trick here on the road. Well, old hat for him in a way because it's a business-like approach as he's on the road. He just says, yeah, just bring it. I mean, gets a hattie to boot. What I really love about this power play is it isn't predictable, which means the PK doesn't know where that puck is going. That 
That's how you manipulate it. That's how you open up lanes. And this shot comes from the mid lane or the interior of the ice, and it's buried. We score that power play goal, and you can see the coach behind the bench. His reaction shows that he is certainly thrilled with their performance out there. You know, it's all about execution on a power play. He put skilled players out there to deliver, and that's what they did. They delivered. The Sharks with that goal have gone up by one here in the third. Well, you're better off by one than down by one, James, but there's a lot of one way left. Now it's a mindset of attack, but being defensively responsible. Takes it to the net. Too much congestion in front. Gotta love these moments within a game, James. It's tight. The game really hasn't opened up. You gotta play free, but you have to play responsible as well. Slides the puck to Saad. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. A little burn and crashing now. Moves it to Toffoli. Break away. Oh, good. They score. Wait, hang on here. They're waving it off immediately. This is not going to count, James. The goaltender had no chance of playing that puck. This is going to be goaltender interference. in the score as that goal was waved off and we are ready to drop the puck again. The Blues take control of the faceoff. Kairou is going to play it against the half wall. Moves it to Rudolph. Now a quick pass to Ferraro. And it's a quick pass to Toffoli. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Buchnevich. The Blues take it along the wall. Just wide. There's so many moving parts in the game of hockey, which is why it's one of the most difficult sports in the world. And he gets to that prime time scoring area. You don't get that too often, and he just sails it. He misses the net. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Sharks are looking to build on this one goal lead. The Blues will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Big time stop there. This is just great puck control to put the puck to the corner. No second shot opportunity. Chance to put away. Chris shot from the slot. Scores! They've tied it up here with a timely goal in the third. Now they're back up against the wall. They decide to turn the tides and put on the press, if you will, James, and they get the equalizer. This is a really smart shot from traffic, James. The recognition of the net presence in screen and the goalie drops to the butterfly position really tries to make himself as big as possible hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it the blues tie things up and suddenly we're in next goal win territory cheryl yeah these last minutes are critical in this game and you know that the big mistake that happens it could be the last one And now he moves it quickly to Kairu. Puts it on net. Oh, what a denial by Janicek. Loses the coverage there. Into the corner now. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Picked up along the boards by Eklund. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? They've really got him on their heels here now. Biddington's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Shens won it off the face-off. Sends it over to Joseph. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Fires it! No room for that one to get through. Take it along the wall by Couture. 
San Jose is moving it along the wing. They've got the defense out number. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? And he moves it up to Shen. Saad's working it around in the corner. And he slides it quickly to Crew. And he gets the feed. And that shot gets blocked by one of his own teammates. And that's poked away by Pareko. And now it's to Letty. Slides the puck across to Joseph. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Quick feed to Joseph. Here's a shot. Point blank. Stop by Benedict. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible. And that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. Zone. Carries it across the line. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Slides the pass over to Eklund. Well, there you go. 16 minutes has been played out and still no winner. So we go to sudden death overtime. Lock in, folks, because this should be electric. Stay with us. zone. And down he goes as the puck goes free. And he takes the feed. Poked away at center by Pareko. Poked away in the neutral zone by Kairou. Works it across to Granlin. The Blues have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Feeds the puck across to Pareko. Coughs it up on the play. Now a quick pass to Krug. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. Hammers it on net. Here comes the call. Brutus half got it off one of the ICD officials here. Oh, 
Taking it from his own end. Picks it off. They go back on the attack. Forces the turnover. And it's a quick pass to Letty. A chance to win it. And he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. The Sharks win the defensive zone face-off. And he serves it across to Wallman. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Levels them with the hit. Gets the puck over to Toffoli. Here they come on the attack. Takes the pass. The Blues cross the line and gain the zone. San Jose's looking to break out. The Blues have it against the wall. Shot and shot! Oh, a clutch save! St. Louis gains control of the puck. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Puck picked up by Grandma. Quick pass to Eklund. The Sharks gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. All smart heads up play to put that one away. The Sharks have it behind the cage. A chance in front! Stopped by the goaltender. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Grundstrom. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. Sends it across the ice. Gains the zone through center. Let's move to the middle. Way too much congestion blocks that. Moves it to Grundstrom. And they'll go the other way with it. Great play by Krug. Gets it over to Pareko. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Vlasic. Takes a shot. Oh, what a save by Bennington. Moves it quickly over to Holloway. And now he angles it across to Kapanen. Turns him away. Tries to get the puck to Wenberg. San Jose's in now. Looking to end it. And he comes up with a huge save. Tosses it to Joseph. Into the offensive end right up the middle. Shot. Oh, what a save on the play. Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about complete and finding a way to get to the puck. Still has possession. Vanacek's doing everything he can to uplift his team here. Just look at that last sequence. It was so impressive. The way he was desperate and the athleticism shown in that save, it's got to give his team a ton of confidence. The Blues take the puck through the neutral zone. Can't get a hold of that pass. And a puck check knocks the puck away. Right up Main Street and on the attack. The Blues look to start the transition game. And now it's over to Bushnevich. Feeds the puck over. Puck exits the zone. 
Here they come. Sends it in deep. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Couture's moving the puck through his own zone. St. Louis has possession of the puck. Receives the pass. Slides the puck over. Oh, it just gets a pissed off there. on the offensive end. But look at the end it! And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Then it gets to the end on the puck for a whistle. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. The Sharks take possession off the faceoff. And we will continue to play on as overtime solves nothing. Sudden death continues next. to make the save. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. San Jose's got the puck. Keeps possession. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Takes a shot. And that's turned aside by Bennington. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. St. Louis has won the defensive zone draw. Takes the feed. Chance to win it! Oh, we are still tied! What a stop! We got a whistle penalty coming up. Well, as you head into overtime, you know that you're tired, you're vulnerable, and a penalty is taken. The coach is just yelling at the official there. Say, how can you call that at this time of the game? The 
Blooms have it behind the net. Moves it to Thomas. Handles the puck. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Looking to end it. Oh, what a save to keep it tied. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Dishes it to Neighbors. Shot! And that's blocked away. And a successful clearing attempt. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Now a quick pass to Thomas. And he passes it up ahead to Cairo. Gaining momentum along the boards. There's always competition between the first and second unit on a power play, and the first unit's not going to like that they didn't capitalize. But the second's going to try and come out and finish. St. Louis is on the attack. CC's penalty is almost expired. San Jose's got it in their own zone. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Slides it over with pace to Neighbors. And that's broken up. Bennings lugging the puck. And it's kicked away. Quick feed to Shen. St. Louis on the attack. Slides it across. Game on a stick. And he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as the face off is ready to go. They win the draw and go on the attack. San Jose has got the puck inside the defensive zone. And we got a delayed penalty coming up here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Well, such a tough penalty to take in overtime when the pressure is on James. Now they've got to try to survive this and extend the game. In a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. The Sharks will play it in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Wallman. Shot! Simple glove save by Bennington. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Faxo's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. San Jose's won the faceoff. Denies him on the slapper. Walters exploring options with the puck. Trying to clear. And they get the puck out. That's exactly what they needed. Yeah, late in the game, you want to find a way to just get the puck out. You want to make sure you protect the middle of the ice. And listen, if your opponent doesn't have the puck in their offensive zone, guess what? You're in a good position. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. Moves it to the middle. Another pass. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Oh, turns it aside once again. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Tries to feed it over to Shen. The Sharks fail to score. And for the win! And it comes up with a huge save! Slides it across to Tripoli. And that's put away by Joseph. Passes over to Crew. And now it's grabbed by Fulk. Slides it up front. And it's a quick pass to Saad. Puck sent over to Shen. Taken by Falk. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Denied with the glove by Benicek. Handles the pass. Moves the puck. Zetterlin's had a great game offensively. James, he's been all over the ice, really buzzing around. A reason why he's got three points. Oh, one of his teammates was right in the shooting lane there. And that shot dies in traffic. The Blues have it in the offensive zone. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. The Sharks will play it against the boards. A great core strength to hang onto the puck after that. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. A big face off here inside the offensive end. Thomas has it in their own end. 
feeds the puck to Bushnevich. Gives him a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. And let's see what the call is. Well, overtime is sudden death, and now you find yourself shorthanded. Well, the PK unit, they know their role. They come out here, sacrifice their bodies, and get it done. San Jose's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. As a player, this is what you play for. Power play in overtime. The palms are sweaty, the heart rate is going. This is exactly what you love. Feeds it on over to Tafoli. Can't hang on after that hit. Taken along the wall by Letty. Looking to clear the defensive zone. Oh, and that's a big time clear there. Uh, the critical juncture of the game, and you're in your own zone. you got to find a way to get that puck out, and you do it. You focused on the details, and you made sure you got it. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. And he takes the pass. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck and manages to clear the zone. The Sharks play it along the boards. Sends a pass over. A chance for the win! Scores! The overtime winner! And will put this one to bed! What a thrilling finish tonight! Wow! Let's have another look at this, James. Yep, there it is. I mean, look at that net front presence, just the screen and the goaltender battling to find the puck. That's exactly what you need in the paint on the power play, and as a result, they score. That'll do it from ringside here this evening. From all of us here at EA Sports, my name is James Sabalski. Playoff hockey, it's simply the best, and we'll see you at the next postseason game. Cheers.